Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with the 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Now this has 937 horsepower, 859 pounds feet of torque from a 7.2 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself now weighs 2,955 pounds. Got off-road tyres, all-wheel drive and off-road suspension and it can in now do 0 to 60 in 1.972 seconds. 0 to 104.250 seconds and going to a top speed of 199 miles an hour. Now I was going to do a review of this car but unfortunately you can't actually fully view it in Forza Vista so I'm trying it here and uh, yeah this is actually the first classic muscle car we've had on this series so uh, yeah it's going to be interesting to see what it can do in comparison to the other kind of vehicles so yeah let's see what it can do. Now classic muscle car surely shouldn't be able to do very well here but there are some good elements to it it's obviously got a fair bit of power and torque uh, it's not weighing in all, all, all that much especially for quite a large car and uh, yeah a lack of weight and generally a fair good old amount of power and torque is obviously a good recipe it means that it's going to handle fairly well and also uh, have good acceleration which it does as you can see but obviously it's not meant for dealing with these kind of conditions and it's never meant for all-wheel drive but yeah I'm kind of confident in this car to be honest and if it does well it does uh, mean that maybe some more classic muscle cars should go around this uh, this course on this series because yeah we've neglected classic muscle cars to be honest and we've had a modern muscle car or two I know we've got the uh, Chevrolet Camaro around here before yeah, never had any other classic car and muscle cars from here. Just the uh, modern variety, really. It's got really good acceleration on the go down there. It's not the most controllable of the vehicles. It is really rather quite fast. get this car via the uh, newly added multiplayer mode eliminator. You have to get up to around level 23, 24. Whole reason I did try and get this was to hopefully see it in uh, Force Vista fully and uh, and uh, review it, but unfortunately not. But yeah, that's still a solid time of 2 minutes, 5 seconds, point six one nine. Not quite as quick as the McLaren P1 from the previous episode, but considering this has less power and is far older that is still really rather an impressive time and it matches weirdly a uh, 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution beats a Mercedes-Benz X-Class Renault Alpine A110 which is around similarly aged to this the McLaren 720S Coupe Mercedes-Benz E-Class uh, formatic all-terrain uh, estate car Lancia Stratos again similarly aged as well as a Ford Escort RS 1600 and the Lancia Fulvia Coupe again all similarly aged to this so yeah it's fairly impressive to be beating cars that were meant for rallying and the like from around the same time Lanciers, Fords, Renaults is uh, really rather impressive especially considering this car is far larger than those vehicles and uh, yeah heavier as well so uh, yeah really rather impressed by this it wasn't the most controllable of vehicles and we obviously did a hit, a hit a couple of walls but yeah still fairly impressed by it and it does give me hope that some other classic muscle cars might well do uh, even better on this series, especially uh, the ones that maybe are smaller and lighter than this. But yeah, still a fairly solid vehicle and uh, yeah, fairly quick in certain areas. And uh, yeah, even though it wasn't the best handling vehicle, certainly shined through on enough areas to obviously give it a quick enough time, as you can see. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.